Hey guys, Dave here from Guitar Zero to Hero, and today I'm pretty damn excited. Now, it's not often that you get to unbox a guitar that you know that without a doubt will be with you by your side until you're 16 under, but today is that day for me. In this video, I'll be unboxing my dream acoustic guitar. A guitar that really ticks all the boxes for me and more. And after unboxing the video, I'll give you an overview of the specs as well as a sound demonstration. So here's the box, and as you may have noticed, it is a Taylor guitar. But what model is inside? Let's find out. Oh, I'm so excited. Pull this out. Oh, so take a look at that hard case. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what I would probably describe as a chocolate brown color. It's not quite black, it's not quite brown, it's just somewhere in between, really dark. Feels really solid, it's got a beautiful Taylor logo right there. I love that they haven't put the logo all over the case. Sometimes I think that can be a bit much just branding the case. Um, it also kind of screams to people, hey look, I got this guitar, come and steal it. Okay, moment of truth, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, so nice. All right, there it is, guys. My dream guitar right here. I'm so excited to play it. This is absolutely stunning. I am just in love. The inlays, the binding, the rosette. It's just so beautiful. And of course, the case looks great as well. Just this velvet material. It's, it's such a nice package. All right, I, I'm almost scared to hold this thing. So I'll just pop it down and I'll uh, pull it out of the case. There we go, an absolute beauty. And there's even binding on the back as well. So it's, you know, these details aren't just reserved for the front of the guitar. You, know, you got that level of detail on the back as well. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is the Taylor Builders Edition 912CE, and this is a guitar that I had the pleasure of playing uh, and trying out at the NAM show last year when it was first released. And when I first picked it up, I was honestly blown away by how beautiful it looks, but also how it sounded and how easy it was to play. And I'm so happy to finally call it my own. So I'm here at the uh, Taylor booth and oh my Lord, this is the new Builders Edition um, range of Taylor guitars and they're absolutely stunning oh my god so I've played pretty much all of them and uh, I can't decide which one's the best but um, absolutely another guitar to put on my uh, to buy list for sure you know as tradition goes do a bit of a sniff test very very nice smells great all right let's give it a go Just so easy to play. It sounds unreal. Like, ah, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna take this away for a couple of hours and I'll come back and then I'll run through some of the specs and features and of course I'll do a full sound demo, fully mic'd with um, proper mics up the front here so you can really hear how it sounds. All right, so let's run through the specs of this beautiful guitar. So it's got a grand concert body with a Lutz spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. It's a wood tonal combination that I've always wanted on a guitar. Now it's got a 24 and 7 8 inches scale length, a beveled cutaway design, and also a beveled armrest here for increased comfort. So you're not gonna be uncomfortable you know, resting your arm on this guitar. Now when you first pick up this guitar, you'll notice how compact it is with its you know, narrow body width and its grand concert body. The grand concert body is on the smaller end of the full size guitar spectrum and it's the perfect all rounder but certainly is more suited to more finger style and light strummers as well as you know those smaller players who are looking for something a bit more comfortable. 
Now I basically fit into all those categories, so that's why this is the forever guitar that I chose. Now if big bodied strumming is more your thing, then you definitely probably want to be looking at something with a bigger body shape, like a Grand Auditorium or a Dreadnought. But this Grand Concert is awesome because it's got a really refined and balanced sound. Taylor also drew a lot of inspiration from the electric guitar world with this design. So this is gonna be a great guitar for electric players who want that comfort and precision and fast response that you get on an electric guitar. Now the other things you'll notice with this guitar is all those small aesthetic details that you wouldn't think enhance the playing experience that much, but they really do. So things like the beveled armrest here, um, the beveled cutaway here, so getting up in those higher frets, and the rolled edges on the, the neck, and also the body, just make this a super comfortable guitar to play. Now the final thing I wanna mention before actually just showing you how this sounds is the bracing system that Taylor uses on these guitars. So Taylor have recently introduced a new um, bracing method called V-Class bracing, which breaks away from your traditional and conventional X bracing pattern that most guitars use on their guitar tops. Now when it comes to the physics of an acoustic guitar's sound, there's two main factors that affect the volume and the sustain of the guitar. And that's the flexibility of the top and also the stiffness of the top. Now a flexible guitar top results in a louder volume. So think of a, a speaker cone and how it flexes up and down uh, moves up and down to push air. If you've got a flexible guitar top, then you'll generally have a louder volume. But if you want a guitar that has notes with long sustain, so where those notes ring out beautifully and hold their duration, then you actually want a stiff material to do that or a stiff top, which means that there's now a trade-off. Do you go with the flexible top with a lower stiffness resulting in a louder volume with poorer sustain, or do you go with a less flexible top with higher stiffness that results in a quieter volume, but with a higher sustain? So in general, there's a trade-off between the two when it comes with to X bracing. But what Taylor have implemented here to try to solve this issue is V bracing. So you're getting stiffness parallel to the strings in the direction of the strings that allows for greater sustain, whilst allowing flexibility either side of that V-bracing to maximize the volume. And it really is quite clever, and what you get, especially from these smaller body shapes, like the Grand Concerts and the Grand Auditoriums, is a full-bodied volume with amazing clarity and, and sustain that's great for lead playing and great for playing in general. So enough talking now, I'll now show you how it sounds.
It goes without saying, this guitar is an absolute joy to play. As with pretty much any Taylor guitar, the playability is one of the biggest upsides and advantages. And their design and consistency in manufacturing ensures that this is pretty much the case with a lot of their models, not just the builder's edition guitars. I've personally yet to play a Taylor guitar that isn't just easy and fun to play. Now, I know that obviously this isn't going to be a guitar that's for everyone. And as I always say, it's the player that makes the guitar and not the other way around. But if you are looking for a forever guitar that is sure to wow anywhere you take it, then this is definitely one to consider or strive towards in the future perhaps. Again, the guitar won't make you a better player. Sure, it might make things easier, but at the end of the day, it's practice, patience, and persistence that will take you to the next level. So until the next video, keep strumming guys. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.